I'm really unhappy with David Moyes' comments following the loss against Bristol City last night. Not for the game itself, but the comments that he gave an insight into his appraisal of the squad and how strong the squad was. I think we've been completely and utterly exposed. David Moyes is quite chilled about it. I can't tell you exactly what he says, but to paraphrase him, because I was driving my daughter back late last night and... I was listening on the radio, it was on TalkSport. The interviewer asked him if this loss and the fact that we had such a weak bench and, and probably quite a weak team exposed the frailties in the squad. He was pretty cool about it. He didn't seem to think so. He was talking about Caduce coming back and Pakatar, African Cup of Nations, injuries. We've been lucky with injuries this season. He, he was right. That On that, he's right. But it was more the fact that he didn't seem disturbed by what we've got and when you scratch below the surface. Because I tell you now, I believe there's a couple of players, at least, who probably shouldn't be playing for West Ham again. And I, and I don't mean that to be mean. I really, really don't. I, but I just, they're the stark realities of it. And, and I think if I wasn't to say it, I'd just be being overly nice for the sake of it and not speaking the truth. The truth of the matter is Danny Ings should not be playing for West Ham again. And he's not, he's not the only one. I'm just, I'm just starting with him because he was the first player that sprung to mind. He is so ridiculously slow. He really is. He does not fit our system. He does not fit David Moyes' system. It's not all his fault. We were crap. But hopefully, I don't have to go over all the stuff I went over last night in terms of the team having no fight, in terms of the tactics being crap. We covered all that last night, all right? Now, that's a different video. Now I'm talking about the indiv individual players. And I, and I only say that just to try and mitigate later someone's going to say in the comments, oh, Gonzo, hold on, but what about Moyes? What about the tactics? What about this? What about... Yeah, yeah, we covered all that last night. I'm talking about the individual players, but... I I've already accepted that everything was crap, right? But even once you've accepted that Danny Ings may have been crap because he hasn't got a supply line, you still have to accept he hasn't got a supply line. Uh, not in that game against Bristol City, not in the game that he played a month ago, not in the game he played last year, and probably not in any game he plays next week if he plays, carries on playing for West Ham. There is no supply line. There won't ever be one, so you're never going to see the Danny Ings that possibly some people might hope to see. I, I, it's a complete and utter waste. Look, I, I don't particularly think that some of the young players, the academy stars, are ready for regular first-team football yet, but they're better than that. They, they, they are. They, they would not do worse than that. But he was not the worst player. No way. Danny Ings was not the worst player. I just want to highlight that because it's such a big factor in, in, in the way that we play. Let's get on to Sai Ben Rama. I don't know what's happened to Sai Ben Rama. I really don't. Um, well, actually, I've got, I've, got my, I've got my ideas. But it, again, it doesn't matter why it's happened. The fact is, it has happened. So what we're going to do, we're going to wait for him to get his confidence, wait for the manager to find a way to utilise him. It ain't going to happen. You know it's not going to happen. So I think the best thing we can possibly do now is get rid of him. I laughed. I know I've already said it. I've said it twice already. This whole thing, if we can get our money back to Sai Ben Rama, honestly, it's hilarious. It, it, it's, it's, it's like a joke. It honestly is. It's a bit of comedy. There's just no way. I'm just not laughing. That's all. It's a bad joke, isn't it? Um, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. He can't play for West Ham. It, he really, really can't. And he needs to get a move and he needs to get it. And West Ham need to cut their losses on this player. He was. There were actually times when he was quite busy last night. Absolutely quite busy. Uh, tricks, flicks, all the stuff. But you know you, you know what you get with him. No end product. Nothing. No threat at all. This is how bad Saeed Ben Rama was. And let me just make, make this point. And, and I'm not even talking about the, the red card. All right? Because I'll tell you why. It's easy to look for a scapegoat. I, I find increasingly more in the modern age, everyone wants one smoking gun. One reason for why things are wrong, rather than like a nuanced thing. There could be any number of reasons. We did not lose that game because Saeed Ben Rama got a red card. So I want to leave the red card, as stupid as it was. Again, we covered it before. Uh, but I'll tell you how bad Saeed Ben Rama was. Maxwell Cornet started off that game a bit of a nervous wreck. He, he, was, he was slow. He was unsure of himself. He was unfit. He lacked match sharpness. Any one of the observations that you may wish to make about Maxwell Cornet, and he's all those things because he doesn't play. Right, OK, so once we've accepted that, that's what he was. I actually think he, he grew into the game a little bit. He wasn't brilliant. He was far from it. In fact, let's just say this now. Maxwell Cornet was poor last night. And he, this, is, this goes to tell you just how poor side Ben Rama was. For all his tricks and his flicks and everything he tried Saiban Rama last night, Maxwell Cornet was more of a threat to their defence. Maxwell Cornet had a shot, he had a, he had a decent cross, and then he had another very good cross. 
very good cross was the ball that went over to uh, was to Thomas Suchek. Who on another, it was it was to be fair, it was an excellent save by the goalkeeper. Let's just say that an excellent save by the goalkeeper. But on another day, that's a goal that cross from Saeed Ben Rama. All right, the volley was a little bit extravagant, and and but it was a threat. He had a shot on goal. He provided two crosses, which created chances, and he was crap. And that yet yeah, Cornet despite being crap, was much more of a threat than Saeed Ben Rama. I mean, it, it is not, it's not good at all. Then we get to Aaron Cresswell. I mean, it's, it's pretty poor. Uh, there, there was a point, I've just done a, a very quick Patreon video when I play a ratings. There was a point, probably about half an hour into the game, and I was watching the game, and I saw Aaron Cresswell. I, I, I forgot he was playing. I, I did. I thought, oh, shit, yeah, Aaron Cresswell's playing. Um... Now, don't get me wrong, I think a part of that is, is on David Moyes in terms of Aaron Cresswell. Not because of his treatment of him. I, I just think sort of maybe Father Time's caught up a little bit with Cresswell. But it wasn't like we played three across the back and played wing backs. We just had an extra defender in there. I, I felt that both Soufal and Emerson were still playing full back rather than wing back. Um, it just, we just had one more central defender and it still didn't bloody work, did it? Um, but, but Cresswell was. And anyway, so. He wasn't actually as bad as a couple of the others, let's be fair. And there were worse players, don't get me wrong. Soufal and Mavropanos were awful, absolutely awful. But I'm not saying they can't play for West Ham again. That's not what I'm saying there. But but I, but I do think there are a number of players who, who probably shouldn't play for West Ham. There's a lot of frustration still boiling over and bubbling over from last night. And the composition of the midfield too uh, was, was not clever at all. And I'm, I'm pretty annoyed about it as well. And I'm really annoyed that we had a lot of set plays last night. And <laughs> look, James Ward is a decent player for us, but I expect him to dominate a game like that against Bristol City. He's a £25 million player. He's played midfield for England. And neither from open play uh, nor from set pieces, because he could he hurt them, uh, and and that's that's bad. I, again, I'm not saying he can't play for West Ham again. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just disappointed over 180 minutes that he couldn't do, and, and that actually none of the team could particularly do anything against them. Uh, and maybe the one exception would be, well, two exceptions I mentioned in this this video. Uh, Emerson, I covered that. Uh, I, just, I just what I do want to say, Ben Johnson, is that there's another element of frustration today. I know I mentioned him yesterday. I, I cannot fathom why we're why we're selling this guy. Uh, I've seen a couple of people, you know, say, "Well, hold on, do, do, do you remember, you know, how bad he was against Brighton I, I, last season?" I do. I was there. Is, is that why we're selling him? Is that why we're, is that why we're, I don't think we're selling. I would be very disappointed if we're selling him because he had a bad game against Brighton last season. Not only did he have a bad game, he lost his confidence after that. But he's been good this season. I thought he was the one player to emerge with any credit from the Liverpool game. Game, by the way, uh, played that lovely ball over the top, played left wing then, played that lovely ball over the top for Jared Bowen with his weak foot. Um, I think any time I've seen him at right back, I think he's been decent this season as well. And he looks like a, he looked like a far better right back than Vladimir Soufal. Um, like, in fact, he looked like a rounded right back. He looked like a good, close ball control, good marking, good tackling. Um, he, he just looked like... Well, I guess at that point he was playing wing back, but he looked like he could do that job as well. Uh, he's been at West Ham since he was eight years of age. I'm bearing in mind with Dos Tilo Kera, we're not in the market for a new right back. Vladimir Soufal is not only in bad form, but looking like he's feeling very sorry for himself. Why we would not give Ben Johnson a new contract? I don't think he's asking for 100 grand a week. I really don't. Uh, we're nowhere near financial fair play. All the figures came out yesterday. We're £75 million away from FFP. Not even close. Um... We've just got a load more wages off the books. I'm not going to repeat the players that have already left the club this season. You know who they are. Um, you know, I, I don't. He's not asking for 65 grand a, a week either. I know that for a fact. You know, if, uh, give him 45 grand a week or whatever it might be. Just, just give him, give him, give him the money. Put him on a couple of year contract and then deal with it afterwards. Uh, anyway, there, there you go. Just I'm really. I didn't think I'd be this frustrated afterwards um but i i really am and if you think uh, some players and the manager have got away scot free with me um they really haven't i just wanted to do a very short video um you know just about a couple of, a couple of my concerns because I, I i don't think these players should play for west ham again i don't think they are anywhere near good enough even to be on the bench uh, i think the thing that worries me is that david moyes may not agree with me mm -hmm.